to those people in the first century, to the Jews, made a point remarkably clear over and over and over again. Which is what? Does multiple have a places, Does multiple have a God? different yes points no? in time. Does Jesus have a God? At one specific point in time, Jesus had an issue with the religious leaders because he healed someone on a Sabbath day. Soon after the Pharisees chased him to even persecute him, Jesus said, why do you persecute me? I see my father work and I work. I see my father work and I work. And the word of God says, uh, hearing this, the Jews got even offended even in a worse way because they wanted to take up stones to kill him. And the clarification they gave my question is very simple. Does Jesus Christ have a God? Let's look what Jesus said in the Bible. The Jews, you knew much better. It says in John chapter 20, verse 17, I'm ascending to my father and your father, my God, my God and your God. He didn't say my father, only he said my God. He says I go to my God and your God. So according to Jesus' own statement, look, he doesn't want you to hear. He says the other, I go to my God and your God. You should now. And I have been working. Therefore, now let's read what the Jews sought all the more in to kill him chapter 1, because he not only he broke the this, Sabbath, have, but also the call was, said the that God was his Jesus father, Christ, making father, himself make equal you with God. Yoga, fire. He speaks so that you may know him better. Two people speaking in the same sense isn't going to happen anymore. In Ephesians chapter 1, 17, again, he says here, that I Jesus Christ has a God. So your God, who is supposed to be only Don't one God, has Lord another God. Are you done? No, I haven't done yet. One more thing. In, in Ephesians 1 17, it says, I keep Don't asking the God Hashim. of my of our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ that the glorious Father may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that you may know him better. Very clearly, I've shown you two verses. I've shown you two verses. One is Ephesians 1 17. And in John 20, 17, in both places it says that Jesus Christ has a God. Now this is very clear that God Almighty doesn't have a God. The reason Jesus has a God is because he is God Almighty God. All right. Are you done now? Yeah, I'm done now. Good. Are you going to respond? Who's Jesus? Who's Jesus? Who's Jesus? Are you going to respond? Are you going to go into mathematics again? Which you don't even know the basics. Depends. It depends on how much you listen now. Now, ask him. Hashem's challenge. Hashem's challenge was again the same thing, yeah. repeating an again. An and the challenge was the Son, Jesus, called the Father God. Who's Venom? Who's Venom? Excuse me, sir. He's in who's your party. Venom? He's in your same Jesus, party. Who's Please wait. Tell me. Yeah, tell me who's Jesus for Venom? Well, well, okay. Control yourself, first, JC. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, uh, now that Hashem's Hashem's problem again. was that the Son, uh, the Jesus Son called. Why is Mr. Jesus? Jesus, why, why, why is Mr. Irrelevant not coming? Jesus called the Father, his Father, as God. Yes. God and God. therefore, he thinks only he must be called God. So now, more than one I'm God. glad, Even God I'm glad <laughs> Hashem takes the authority from scriptures. I'm quite pleased with that. And therefore, and therefore, let me take authority from the same, same scriptures. Actually, I'm exposing you from your own scriptures. With the same scriptures with Hashem wants to use. Reading Your God as a God, I've, I've told you two reading, verses. Reading from the book of Hebrews. No, I was reading from the Word of God. I was reading from John 20, 17, which I you know. don't want to. I know, I know, I know. Hebrews chapter 1. Read it, brother. Verse 6 and going forward. When he again brings the firstborn into the world, he says that all the angels of God worship him. Referring to the Son, worship him. And of the angels, he says, who makes his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire. And then comes the bombshell. The bombshell. But to the sun, but to the sun, he says, yeah. your throne, O oh God, oh. is forever oh. and ever. How does the father call the sun? Oh. Can I respond to that? How does the father? No, I didn't ask Can I respond? I didn't ask Of course you don't want. Okay, here's the response. Whether he likes it or not. Can I finish? Can I finish okay. before that? Provided you let me answer that. Can I finish? Yeah, after after that, will you let me answer? No. After, what is it? No. 
Let me, let me. Will you let me answer after you finish? After I finish, you can speak. You can speak. That is not answer because I, I'm not going to ask you any question. No, but I will respond to what you just. Yeah, you can, you can speak after that. Absolutely. Remember, you promised. But let me speak. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. And of the angels, he says, who makes his angel spirits and his ministers a flame of fire. But to the sun, he says, your throne, O oh God, is forever and ever. In other words, when you go through the Jewish scriptures, beginning with the Jewish scriptures, going into the Greek scriptures, what you would find is this, pretty simple. The God who is revealed in scriptures, in the Bible, is a composite unity within which the Son, of course, calls the Father God, but the Father equally calls the Son God also. Now, you need to consider both for you to have a holistic view of what is happening. In other words, using the Bible, you can never ever say that Jesus is purely inferior to the Father. Never ever say, I agree. I agree that Jesus temporarily took up a humble form. I agree. But you can never ever say he only had a had an inferior form. Okay. In other words, in other, that. No, wait, 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 in other words, if you stick to the Bible, the Bible is extremely clear. Absolutely the not. Father, Absolutely not. Son, Absolutely Holy not. Spirit, God. There, it doesn't say only the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, God. Only when you take the trouble to read through the Bible. The Quran, okay, now basically he said, he quoted a verse in which the Father is referring to Jesus as God. Am I right? Am I right? Okay. Yes, Let's see what Jesus referred to as, whom Jesus referred to as God. And if he actually is consistent, with his understanding of what the scripture says. It says here in John, John. chapter 10, verse 24. Sorry, yeah, verse 34, it says here, it is not written in your law. I have said you are gods, gods, yes? If he called John chapter 10, verse 34. Okay, Jesus answered them, it is not written in your law. I have said, you are gods question mark if he called them gods to whom the word of god came he's referring to the jews here to whom the word of god came and the scripture cannot be set aside what about the one whom the father has set apart as his very own and sent into the world when they do you where why do then you accuse me of blasphemy because i said i am god's son not god okay so Jesus is referring to the Jewish people that when God himself calls the people, the Jewish people, gods, he's referring to Psalms 82.6. In Psalms 82.6, if you can go home and read it, God is calling these people, the Jewish people, yes, he's calling them God, ye are gods, the children of the Most High. So you see, when, when the reference of God, you need to understand one thing, whenever the reference is made to God, bro, Whenever the reference of God is made to anyone other than God Almighty, they are never Almighty God. These are the lesser gods, or in the terminology of that time, these lesser gods are basically some people who are considered righteous. And at the end of the day, Jesus never once claimed that he is God. Did he ever say, I am God, or something similar to that? The reason he has never said. In fact, he says, my father is greater than I. Can anyone be greater than God Almighty? Absolutely not. The reason Jesus said his father is greater than I because he acknowledged the fact that he is the almighty God. Like in John chapter 17, again the same same chapter of John, in John chapter 17 verse 3, he says the only true God, referring to God almighty the father. Yes, the only true God is who? Thank you. JC acknowledges that. And this is the fact in the Bible that there is no mention of the Trinity concept. There is no mention of the Trinity. At the end of the day, what we have is Jesus himself saying that he has God. Good, I'm done. Can you respond to that? Yeah. A quick reminder. We began by, he began by saying, Jesus called Father God. And that he took as a problem. I responded by saying the father also call, call, called the son God and, I, and that's, that was my response to saying the father also has the habit of calling the son God. That's where, that's where Hashem tries to clarify and say that 
perhaps Jesus is not claiming equality with God by pointing to a specific verse which interestingly goes against his own point if we look at the details. Let's go through the details please. So what did Jesus say? Jesus said, if he called them gods, referring to people of Israel, called them gods to whom the word of God came and the scripture cannot be broken. And he goes on to say, but by the way, I'm not like them. I'm much better. And there comes a clarification. Do you say of him whom the father sanctified? You see, Jesus is already make, beginning to make a distinction here. You guys were called gods. If you, you, if you can be called gods, how much more can I be? And then he clarifies exactly what his qualification was. Yeah. What was Jesus' qualification? He gives two specific points. As a matter of fact, two in this verse and then three, just one verse down. Okay. And he says, the Father sanctified me, number one. And number two, sent into the world. Yes, so yes. where did the son come from? From God. Oh, <laughs> where did Muhammad come from? From God as well. Sent really? From yes. heaven? Well, what did Muhammad come from heaven? Well, what did Jesus say? What did Jesus I say? Jesus came from Mary's womb. Excuse me. What did I Jesus didn't know Mary's womb was heaven. Wait, Hashem. I gave you time. You should give me time. The verse is quite clear. The verse says, the, Do you, if you, if he called them gods to whom the word of God came, do you say of him whom the Father sanctified and sent? into the world the next verse. where was the father sending the uh, jesus into into the world, into the world. from where from, Mary's womb. from outside the world from Mary's womb. how do you come into the world from if not from outside of from the world the mother's womb. excuse me that's already inside the world but jesus exactly. clarifies he is come the father sent him oh, we believe in the virgin birth that's what you're trying to get at. i didn't ask you anything that. about what your belief is i am caring only about my scriptures read because it is only my, let's read that's I'm going to read everything yes. for you exactly. to put you out of your misery. God. What does it say? What does it say? What does it say? Uh, to whom, uh, whom the Father sanctified and sent into the world, I mean, Jesus came from outside the, the world, and then goes on. Uh, 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 you are blaspheming because I said I am the Son of God. And then it goes on. No, no, no. What does that mean? What does that verse mean? No, no. You, give a big, you give a big explanation to the other words. Hashem, yes. I give my explanation. Yes. You can respond no, in your explanation. No, but give an explanation for that. No, no. I will give I, my explanation. And then you can reflect when you want. Okay, go on. Yeah. Jesus goes on to say, If I do not do the works of my father, what is Jesus claiming? Jesus. No, no. More importantly, Jesus is claiming. He does the works of the Father. No, uh, what does it mean? I am doing what my Father does. What does the Father do? What kind of things does the Father do? He orders Jesus. Excuse me, excuse me. That is not what Jesus is saying. What kind of things does the Father do? He sends people. Really? Yes. So, if the Father sends people, what is Jesus saying? I do my Father's works. What did Jesus do? Send his apostles. Whatever the Father does, the Son does also. Perfect. Excuse me. Excuse me. That's quite clear. See, no, I'm, I'm reading. I'm reading. I am reading. Jesus goes on to say, if I do not do the works of my Father, he's not saying if I do some works, if I do some magic, something, someday. No. Jesus is saying I'm doing what? Uh, what he calls the father's works exactly. and he goes on his work, his but, but, his but, his but, but if i do if i do though you do not believe me yeah. believe the works that you may know, that you may know and, and believe that the father is in me which kind of did muhammad have god in himself no actually the disciples did did muhammad have god in himself no, no. what does jesus say the father was as uh, the father uh, is in me and i in my father more audaciously even god was in the prophets of the old testament right through everywhere you would see the spirit of god coming upon the prophets before the prophets prophesy. So even if Jesus had said, the Father is in me, that could have been all right from a Jewish context, perhaps not from a Quranic context, from a Jewish context, that could have been all right. But Jesus goes even beyond that. And he says, I 
am in my father. Which prophet would ever dare to say that he was in God? Which other prophet ever dared to say that? Yes. Muhammad is inferior to the rest of the Old Testament prophets. And Jesus is superior to every other Old Testament prophet. Perfect. Finish the last verse. <laughs> Therefore, they sought again to seize him, but he escaped out, out of their hands. Oh, your God ran away. What happened? My I God has left. He can run. I thought by the God. He runs away and hides. <laughs> Hashem, Hashem, Hashem. Okay. My God has legs, he can run. That's fine. Perhaps your God cannot run. I can't I help you, but my God, God can God run. Be able to run. Be able to run. You're a coward. Christian, come on second. Being able to run is not a symbol of uh, inferiority, but a simple symbol of capability, superiority. No, no, no. Perfect. He doesn't say he just ran. He says, again, they try to seize him. But he escaped their grasp. Yeah. He wasn't just running away. He actually wanted to escape yeah. from them. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. you see, the only reason you can hold, get, grab hold of someone and he needs to run away is because that person is scared oh, and afraid of, his, that is your of idea. the people who are after him. Oh, now wait, he said, actually his main point was this. His main one point was that Jesus one is inside. Run away. One minute. He says Jesus was inside the Father and the Father is inside Jesus. That was his main point. You know the bit that he actually went very quickly without giving any explanation? What's this bit? Where he says, do you know, uh, yeah, where he says here, why then do you accuse me of blasphemy? What was the blasphemy of the Jewish people? In John 10, 30, they said, when Jesus says, my father and I are one, yes, they, like him, thought that Jesus was claiming to be God. And for that reason, the Jewish people accused Jesus of blasphemy. That you being a mere man are claiming to be God. And Jesus clarifies and defends himself against this false allegation of God hello, by hello. the Jewish people. And then he says, Are you interrupting? All right. And then he says here, when Jesus says, Why then do you accuse me of blasphemy? Because I said, I am God's son, not God. Because this was the best time for him to say, I am God. Because that is exactly that is exactly what they are accusing him of. That this being a mere man is claiming to be God. So you know what Jesus says? Those people in the Old Testament in Psalms 82.6, they are called gods by the very God who sent them the scripture. But then all I say is I am God's son and for that you are accusing me of blasphemy. How dare you? I'm paraphrasing you. And this is what he says. And then you know at the end, Jesus runs away and escapes the grass. And this man, he says, because Jesus says the Father is in me, yes, I'm in the Father. By the way, he doesn't say God is in me, does he? And oh, <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's read John. Let's see if you guys, let's see if you guys are consistent. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Let's see if you're consistent. John chapter 20, John, sorry, John chapter 17, verse 21. Let's read that. And let's see if the disciples are also God based on their logic. Because according to them, anyone who has God in them or the Father in them is a God. So let's see if the, if the disciples are God logic. Yes, yes, yes. Now he's, a, now he's a really, really safe. He ran away like he's got this. The logic. Okay, he says here. No, I haven't done yet. Because this is a key point which is a rebuttal to yours. He says here in John chapter 17, verse 21, he says that. My, actually, I start from verse 20 because that's where the prayer starts from. This is the prayer of Jesus. My prayer is not for them alone. I pray also those. I pray also for those who believe in me through their message, that all of them may be one. All of them, believers, may be one. That all of them may be one. The fa Father, just as you are in me, I am in you. This is the verse that he said earlier. Read the next verse. I stop talking now. That's a good, it's a good sign. No, no, get on, get it's a good on sign. It says here, it says here, the next word says here, just as you are in me, Father, I am in you. This is Jesus praying. And he says here further, may they, the disciples, the believers, may they also be in us so that the world, world may believe that you have sent me. I have given them the glory. Remember the glory that God gave him? I have given them the glory that God gave me, okay? That you gave me, sorry, that you God gave me, that they may be one. They all may be one as we are one. Are you going to say, Mr. Arul, that they all are God as well according to your logic? Please I, answer. I'll tell you what I'm going to say. 
Go ahead. Let me finish the last one. It says, I in them, I, Jesus, in them, and you, God, in you, Father, in me, so that they may be brought to complete unity. Remember, this is the answer of Jesus, that when he says the Father and I one, he's talking about the unity, that they're united in the purpose of bringing the falsehood back to believe in one God, the God of Jesus, the God of Moses, the God of Abraham, the God of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the God of all these prophets, peace be upon them, that they all believed in one God. Never ever did you hear any of the Jewish prophets. Never ever did you hear the Jesus. Never ever did you hear the disciples or the, or the advocates ever say that believe that God exists as three persons or believe that God is three in one. Never did he say that. Hashem, are you done? Yeah. No, no. Just one question. Yeah. You say that the Jews. I have to go now, but we can continue this next time. No, no, no. You, you made some I remarkable you errors. You made some remarkable errors. Really? In this Absolutely. Verse? In John 20. Absolutely. Okay. If I if I were to just quickly summarize what Hashem was saying, yeah, Hashem was pointing to a few verses from John chapter 17, where Jesus of course talks about the Father being one with him and him being one with the disciples and therefore everyone being one and so on. But he misses the crucial point again. And the, and the crucial point I'd like to make is the hierarchy. That's what I'd like to make again. Very, very That's important. the end of it. No, no, no. Let's, That's the end of it. Let's, let's get this point extremely clear in our minds so that we will never make this mistake again. You have even have, you have that even on your camera. So you will never make that mistake again. In the earlier verse, what did Jesus say? That the Father was in him and he was in the father and what did i say at that point i said muhammad would not have even dared to say god was in him i yeah. bring muhammad in now hashem the bible. wait please the bible. wait please, wait, please. God. i gave you time let me finish and then you will see my point and then if you want to fight you can. did i make any points about muhammad you didn't. This is my point. Yeah, but your point should be from the words we are discussing. No, no, my point, point should be from my mouth. My point should mouth. be from my mouth. No problem. Muhammad is you, not God. You made a point not, about Muhammad Salaam Allah Salaam Allah Salaam. No God is my prophet. Excuse me, did you not say, uh, did you not say Muhammad Salehu Allah Salaam? Yeah, what did does it mean? Allah well, did you not say we that? We say the same thing. So Mo you made. We say Musa Alayhi Salaam. Isa Alayhi Salaam. But the, the point, same thing. In, other, God. in other words, you yes. spoke about Muhammad and therefore I'd like to speak about Muhammad I also. Speak about Muhammad. I said he's a God of all, everyone. That's everyone, including Muhammad. And yes, that's why I'm, I'd like to bring him also Good. to bring in clarification to all concerned Muslims here and others also. So you get this hierarchy extremely clear in your minds. Do not make this mistake again. Okay, let's see. The hierarchy. Go on. Jesus the said, yes. my father is in me and I am in my father. Now I said, both of these points, Muhammad would not have dared to make that God was in him and he was That's in God. Fine. You have no problem. Hashem, please let me finish God. without interruption. You have no problem. Both of these points, Muhammad would not have dared to make. Number one. Number two, I also said, but the prophets of the Old Testament would have dared to make the first point, which is that God was in them, i.e. the Spirit of the Lord came upon them. In other words, if you compare these people already, you will see something. Muhammad not having the audacity to make both the claims. The Old Testament prophets having the audacity to make the first claim. And Jesus having the audacity to make both the claims. Sorry, what was Very, the first claim? Claim number one, that the Father was in him. In whom? In Jesus. No, no, about the Old Testament. You said the first claim was... With regards to the prophets of the Old Testament. Yeah, yeah. Which I'm point is that? I'm clarifying. Yeah, please do. Jesus makes two specific claims. The Father was in him, claim number one. He was in the Father, claim number two. And the disciples are in him. I'm coming there. Good. Don't, don't worry, because the hierarchy would be extremely interesting there. That will be extremely interesting. The point I'd like to make before that is this. Jesus made two claims. He was, uh, the Father was in him, and he was in the Father. Two claims. Jesus had the audacity to make both the claims. Repeated like five the old, times already. Can you but because on? you interrupted, yes. I like to summarize again. Yes. The no, Old Testament prophets make one of those claims. Muhammad makes none of those claims. Yes. So you see the hierarchy. Jesus, Old Testament prophets, Muhammad. Let's bring in the Christians here. Jesus, who is there at the top, interestingly, to all those who believe in him as God, or to all those who believe in him and follow him, wants to take all the Christians 
with him because what did Jesus say just like how I am in my father let me read carefully again please for your information which one are you reading John that's the exact yeah. verses you read, okay, Hashem. John 17, yeah. Start from John 17, 21. 21, yeah. yeah. That they may... Now, we saw Jesus was at the top. But what did Jesus say right now? Uh, what did Jesus say at that point? That they all, all Christians, may be one, as you, Father, are in me, and I in you, just like we are at the top, that they also may be one in us. In other words, in other words, in the Trinity. Jesus, <laughs> in Jesus, the Old Testament prophets, Muhammad, and Jesus says, Christians, come on up here because I want all of you with God, no, no, no. just with my Father. It is a with, it says in, Ashe, in us. Ashe, let very me important, read. very important. Let me important. please read. Which he is trying to let fool me you. please read. He let says me they please. are in us, not with no, us. No, 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 no. That's this is not good dialogue. No, no, that's of not good not. dialogue. Is that is not good dialogue. Do not twist the scripture. In other words, the hierarchy is extremely clear. In other words, they are in us. Excuse me. Not with us. Let me please. That is insincere. Let me finish, please. Please, do not miss hierarchy is extremely clear the new testament is extremely clear yes. christians have a great privilege which even the old testament prophets never had let alone muhammad in, in regard to god himself because the word of god clarifies yes. that god wanted to adopt us as children yes. into his family yes. to an extent that we may have rights as children whereas you may consider yourself but you as slaves in us. john that is a question we should wait after I finish. Oh, yeah. okay. John chapter 1 extremely clearly clarifies that Jesus, that, that God, uh, uh, he says, but as many as received Jesus as him, to them he gave the right to become children of God. Mama wasn't a child of God. But all Christians are going to be taken up there. Let's continue reading. John thinking. chapter Carry 17. On. Let's read. Carry on. And the glory. Oh, wait a second. What glory was no, Jesus? Why are you going to glory? You said you're going to answer that question. No, us. No, they, may said, they be in us? Hashem, I said your question has to wait until I finish. Oh, you're going was that not that clear? Place? Okay, go on. No, no, no. Go you on. read about the glory also. Yeah, you read about the glory. Yes, there. yes. I read Let's the finish them off. Go on. Because that's extremely yes, important. Yes, yes, yes. Jesus goes on to clarify something about the glory. If at all, the previous point was a bit unclear for you. Oh, Jesus yes. clarifies. What does he say? He says, and that glory which you gave me, I have given them. So even if the one was a bit confusing, Hashem, even if the one was a bit confusing for you, Jesus clarifies by using the glory. What glory? What glory was Jesus talking about? Go to the start of that chapter. God Jesus gave glory because he didn't have glory. God gave Jesus the glory which he gave to the disciples. No, 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 that's not what Jesus said. Please wait. So why did he give the glory if you already had it? Jesus. Ah, it doesn't make sense until you listen. Okay, but when you do listen, you will know. Go on. Uh, 17 verse 1. Father, the hour has come. Glorify your son, that your son also may glorify you. What glory was Jesus talking about? Jesus is going to clarify if you wait and listen. As you have given him authority over all flesh. That he should give eternal life to as many as you have given them, he, given him. And this is eternal life. That they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. I got God. You don't have to interrupt. We're talking about glory. Wait, please. Yeah, but you're going to different worlds now. No, no, no. Same chapter. You get the understanding of what he meant. So the only true God is the Father. Remember that. When he, when he said, Your, the glory which you have given him, what did he mean? Clarification comes. I have glorified you on the earth. I have finished the work which you have given me. And now, O oh Father, glorify me together with yourself, with the glory which I had with you before the world was. What glory was Jesus talking about? Well, he clarifies by giving some specific details. What are the specific details? That apparently Jesus had the glory with the father sharing scheme you know how you say car sharing scheme all sorts of uh, office space glory sharing sharing scheme. sharing scheme jesus was talking about 
the glory which he was sharing with his father. How does he say that? Oh, father, glorify me together with yourself. He did not say, please give me some glory. No, together with yourself. Let me be with you in this glory together with yourself. And then he clarifies if it wasn't clear for you. And he says, with the glory which I had, apparently this was something which he earlier had, when before I had with you. Again, he clarifies, this is the same shared glory which I want you to share again. Before the world was, was Muhammad there before the world was? Was Muhammad there before the world was? I'll answer that. Excuse me, Muhammad. So the hierarchy is extremely clear. Now, let's clarify. Now, let's get back to Christians. No, 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 finish again. it. Finish it. I'm finishing. You haven't finished that bit. This is I'm finished. Okay, I'm finishing. No, no, the bit here. Now that. I'm finishing. I'm finishing. Okay, now, remember I said verse, uh, chapter 17, uh, verse uh, 22, Jesus used the term glory. Where does this glory come from? The clarification is at the beginning of the chapter. And Jesus goes on to say something remarkable. What does he say? And the glory which you gave me. Oh, by the way, he's talking now about the glory which he shared with his father. Which his father, actually, if you read the remaining verses, you will see then so there was a one. Yeah? Okay, please glory. wait. Yes, you would see Good. the so description, description of the voice from heaven saying i have glorified you again What's and the then heaven? jesus say that uh, the, cha the verses which you skipped which you never read in your life where is the word from, from the heaven where? Okay, let's read so you like that? and the glory which you gave me i have given them so whatever glory the father was supposed to give to jesus which apparently jesus had even before the beginning of the world was mm -hmm. and which he shared with the father he is sharing with all Christians. If it wasn't clear to you what being one means, which you apparently expressed earlier, you said the one means or one in something else. One means one. One, one, one in something else one. or whatever. One means one. The one is Not clearly one. clarified, my dear friends. We Christians who believe in Jesus, Until who follow Him, are going to be considered thoroughly as children of God in all regards to an extent. We are going to share the glory which my Lord Jesus received because of what he did on the cross Amen. after he laid down that glory which he took it back again from the Father that same glory okay God the Father the is going to share with all Christians in other words you choose for yourself if you want to be with Jesus up there or with the Old Testament prophets slightly below there or with Muhammad even below there or even below that as muslim servants you choose for yourself the invitation is quite clear god does not invite you to be servants god or servants alone jesus rather god invites you to become his children if you want to leave that behind now i do appreciate that i don't deserve to be called a child of god i, I do appreciate i don't deserve it but i'm not foolish I don't deserve, but when God gives, I'm not going to say no, I'm going to say yes, God, please. You choose the same for yourself, please, and come to the true God who considers you as his children. And leave behind the gods who treat you merely as slaves, and maybe not even that. See, you said you were going to answer the question in John 17, 21, when he says that all of them may be one. Father, just as you are in me, I am in you, may they also be in us, not with us, which you incorrectly read. In is much it. more than with. With this, I have a suitcase with me. I have a suitcase with me. I have a heart in me. What is more? What, what, what so is are better? You, are you in the what is, what is much more? Are what is a greater privilege? Are you in God? Being with Him or being in Him? In what is a greater privilege? In. I am saying, yes, in Jesus said right. that you can be even in Him. So you are alone God. being with Him. Are you inside God? Yes, of course. There we go. This of is course, yes. Theology. That's the Christian theology. Okay, anyway, anyway. That God you know, incites on earlier. the temple of God. Actually, Perfect. that goes against the word you, of God. Christian clear. It says, we By are the way, temple of God. Have you not finished your turn? You, you asked me something. Yeah, but you, you already agreed with me. You asked me about whether I am in God or not. You already, you already agreed with me and with the Bible that you are inside God. Yeah, just, yeah, as God just as God is inside you. Absolutely. Okay, so you are more of a pantheist, I think, somehow. Yeah.
that's the wrong definition. Wrong idea. That is what pantheism preaches. Now, wrong with idea. regards to your earlier verse, where it says, The Father, the hour has come, okay, glorify your Son. Remember, Jesus is asking, this is the prayer of Jesus. What is he asking the Father? What, sorry, what is he asking God? He's saying, glorify your Son. Why is he asking to glorify his Son? Because his Son has lost the glory. Hence, he's asking the glory that was with him from the beginning. Because he says here, glorify your son, that your son may glorify you. Why is he asking for the glory? Yes, because he wants to glorify whom? Glorify God Almighty. And then he says, for you granted him authority over all people, that he might give eternal life to all those who give him. Now, this is the key bit, which he didn't want to explain further. Now, this is eternal life, that they know you. Who is this you? The Father. Yes, that they know you, the only true God. Who is the only true God? Yahweh. Yes? Is, he, is Jesus Yahweh? I am. No, let, 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 let you finish. You finish, you finish. Okay, Please, so basically according to him, Jesus is Yahweh, and Jesus is saying that you are the only true God. So even after being the Yahweh, he's saying you are the only true God. So there you go, right back to you. Oh, good. Are you done, Asha? No, I haven't done yet. No, this is, this is just a starter. You, you I'm ready for the you back, back, to, no, no, back to you means back to you that you said Yahweh. It goes against you. Oh, yeah. By the way, that was only the start. I'm waiting for oh, the main course is still. Yeah, yeah main course. We're waiting for the main course. Yes, go yes I know you guys are hungry. Okay. So there you we go. We're always hungry for the word of God. Yes, absolutely. Spiritually Not just five hungry. times a day, but many, many times a day, every moment of our lives, hungry for yes. the word of God. Do you do the will of the Father or the Son? Both. But Jesus says only do the will of the Father, so you're wrong. Only? You see, this is a problem. Right, let's read, let's okay. read. Only? So you ask me, where does Jesus say do the will of the Father on his knees? Oh. Yes? It says here, by the way, this is for the this is the message for those Christians, okay, who claim that they will be in paradise, okay, with Jesus, and Jesus will accept them as his own children, lambs, whatever connotations you want to have. It says here in Matthew 7, 21, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. For only the one, remember this, very important. For only the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Only the one who does the will of my Father. It doesn't say will of Jesus Christ. All right? It says only the will of the Father who is in heaven. Okay? Many will say to me, on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name? and in your name drive out the demons and in your name perform many miracles by the way who does all these things in the name of jesus the christians not the jews they don't say we cast out the demons in the name of jesus it is the christians who say this so many will say on the day lord lord did we not prophesy in your name did we not uh, drive out the demons in your name perform many miracles in your name then i jesus will tell them plainly listen to this Mr. JC, listen to this very clear. Then I will tell them plainly, I never knew you. Yes? I never knew you. Away from me, you evil doers. All right? Who are the evil doers? The people who call Jesus Lord, Lord. That's a misreading. How can you read something very obvious, very blatant, and miss fundamental points? Good. We will, we will deal with that. So Hashem, in his current turn, has made two remarkable points. And I'd like to tackle both of them. Yes. The first point he made was, again, from chapter 17, verse 1, about uh, no, the, son, oh, yeah, okay. the son the son talking to uh, the father about glory, which apparently Hashem used the term lost, which the chapter doesn't, Jesus never used. So that was his... Sorry, what did I say? Lost? The glory that he had lost. No, I said the glory he did not have. Well, the glory no, Jesus Christ. Oh, I see, I see what you mean. Yeah. So basically, the reason he's asking for glory is because he lost. He said, you he said, said he lost. Okay, he lost. What is it according to you? Why is he asking for glory? I'll read. Don't be scared. I won't hurt you. Don't worry. No, I'm not Calm scared. down. You look like you are scared. You don't look like a scary person. Thank God. Good. Well done. Now, there is Halloween, he'll do a good job. Yeah, good. Now, now let, let's deal with that. I can't, I can't believe. How Hashem can re read a very simple English statement and miss the fundamental point there. Why now, is he praying for glory? That was the question. If you can answer, please do. No. You have made some points. I'm responding to the points. If you have further questions, you can ask after it. No problem. No. The point you raised was when Jesus said, oh, as if he was begging something which he had lost. Please give me. Now, if, when I read this, the way I read this is pretty clear. I would never ever dare to go before God, my father, and say, 
please do me do me some good so if you do me some good i will do you some good will i ever do that will any muslim ever do that will muhammad did muhammad ever do that god please do this to this thing to me if you do i will do certain things to you did muhammad ever say that of course he would never question? of course he would never have the audacity to say that what did jesus say jesus had the audacity to say father you better give me back of course he didn't use the term better i'm dramatizing this jesus said you give me the glory so that i can give you glory also nice transaction between two apparently equals in this statement you give me i'll give you would ever would any other prophet ever do that you give me i'll give you i have never ever seen such a prophet even in the jewish scriptures let alone in muhammad the point number 1 that is in jewish uh, scripture point number 1 point, 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 point number 1 okay, go on. point number 2 very important because he said reading something uh, apparently hashim wanted to say that jesus said follow the will of the father alone reading a specific passage which he did not read completely let's read that again i didn't read completely let's read that again oh, and by the way which version of the bible is that because it's quite important because it, they have different way of we, representing we, we could we could deal with that a bit later no but i just want to know which version of the bible this is new king james okay mine is actually the niv so That's you will right. not have the exact same no 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 wording. even the words you, you even the things okay. you read so don't say i missed something because i, I read, read from your book if you want okay read That's from, fine enough for read from, me. please Read from uh, NIV. Yeah, yeah, that's the, fine. Give that me is the version I have. And yeah, you, that's fine. By the way, you made a claim that I missed something. Yes. Can you tell me which bit I missed out? I will show you. Go on. If you me. give me. Yeah. Uh, that's in Matthew seven twenty one. Okay, let's read. Matthew seven twenty one. Let's read every single word carefully here. Yeah, please do. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. But only the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. It is true that there is something to do with the will of Father refer reference here. I agree. But that is not the entire verse and that is not the entire passage. Let's read, read every, let's read every single word carefully. Go on. Point number one. Who are these people? Uh, if you need to go into heaven, who apparently would you be speaking to? Introduction. Who apparently would you be speaking to? Discuss the screen in lock out. Oh, yes, sir. Who, the, who apparently would you be speaking to according to this Just passage? Jesus! You don't have any other door, my dear friends. It is Jesus who you need to speak to if you need to go up there. Perfect. Because what did Jesus Why say? Did say that? Oh. Well, who, is, who are the people speaking to? Who are the people speaking to? If you read the words and then give you a Jesus, maybe that will help. Okay. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. But only the one who does the will of my father, only who is in the one. Ashen, that's all right. But my point right now was, my point right now was, if you need to go to heaven, you need to get permission from Jesus. Perfect. Huh? Very important. Yeah. Well, Excuse me, Jesus. Who, who, is, who is deciding who is going to be let in? Who? Who is deciding who is going to be let in? Oh, wait, wait, wait. It doesn't say let in. Jesus is deciding who will be called the evil doers. You guys. Excuse me. Who is deciding who is going to be let in? It doesn't say let Father. in. It is simple. Where does it say let in? Let, 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 let's simplify this. Yeah. By the way, the you need to make a point that. which I missed out. So tell me That's what also. I missed out. But can I, can I please do something? Yes, please. Let me, let me clarify. You know what I told you earlier? Finish the verse and then give you exegesis. Yes. Okay, please let's do so. Let people hear the verse. So, I'll finish my exegesis and then you can rebut. No, it's not about rebutting. It's about yeah, finishing the verse. Finish the verse. Yes. So, point number one. Apparently, people need to go to speak to Jesus to enter into heaven. And apparently, it doesn't say that. No, no, that Please don't enter. Only the ones who follow the will of the Father. Doesn't, doesn't say that. Excuse me. Let's read this carefully. Only those who follow the will of the Father. That's it. Who do you speak to? Speaking to. There's no mention of speaking. Go Excuse on. me. Where Not everyone who says to everyone. me, yes. me. Yeah. Who? Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. 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 Me. No, no, no. Not everyone who says Lord, Lord, Lord. Come on. Lord, Lord. You're going into theology when I'm talking about a simple okay, okay, matter of process. Just finish it. The simple matter of process. The simple matter of process is according to this verse. If you need to go to heaven, apparently, before you find the Father, you're going to find Jesus Christ. So you better be in his good books. Number one. Number one. Not number two. Excuse me. 
Number two, yes, apparently Jesus. it is Jesus who is going to decide if you did the will of the Father or not. Because Jesus says, uh, 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 not everyone who says to me will enter, but only the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. And then, and then many will say to me on that day, Lord, 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 did we not prophesy in your name? And in your name, drive out demons and in your name perform many miracles that I will tell them plainly I never knew you away from me away from, away from me finish it finish it I'm finishing it plainly I'm actually going to dwell on that for the next few minutes now let not alone finish it what did Jesus say Jesus says if you come to me and call me Lord Lord Jesus did not say how come you call me Lord Lord he didn't say that. Yes. Jesus' problem wasn't people calling him Adonai, Kurios, Lord. Oh, Jesus yes. was quite happy with that. Yes. Actually, he wasn't happy. With Excuse that. me, do not interrupt Hashem. When he says good you, trust, yes. 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 there is okay. no point yes. in speaking yes. if, if that's the Car way it is. Carry on, carry on. What was people going to Jesus and calling him Lord, Lord? Jesus never said, How dare you call me Lord, Lord? No, he didn't say that. And then, and then, and then, oh, wait a second. And then he goes on, and then he goes on to say, Did we not prophesy in your name? Apparently, people are going to prophesy in Jesus' name. Number one, number one, number two, number two, if that didn't seem supernatural to you, apparently, people can even do miracles in Jesus' name. And in your name, drive out demons. In Muhammad's name, can you drive out demons? No, you can't. In Jesus' name, you can. Even if you go against the Father. Only the evil doers. Hashem, please wait, listen. Even, even if you go against the will of the Father, purely because you name use the name Jesus, demons are going to run out. Even if you disobey the Father, i.e. do not do the will of the Father, purely if you name, if you use the name of Jesus, uh, miracles are going to happen. Oh, not come, if uh, you use the name Muhammad, number come, one. How how come, come, excuse me, sir, Why how come you, you don't want to listen? Yeah, 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 yeah. Then, Why now Jesus, now Jesus oh, goes on to clarify, now thing. Jesus goes on to clarify yes. the very precise problem he had which, is? which wasn't that they called him Lord which wasn't that they used his name to drive out demons which wasn't that they used his name to perform miracles which wasn't that they used his name to prophesy but rather he said that I will tell them plainly I never knew you I don't know you guys wait a second what is Jesus how can you how can you not that's learn that's to time. listen wait, wait, wait. now what was Jesus' problem Jesus. excuse me what was Jesus' wait a second please what excuse me what was Jesus' problem very interesting Jesus Jesus did not say my father isn't pleased with you God is not going to let uh, let me let you in. That's not what he is saying. He is saying, I don't know you. Who is deciding? Who is deciding who is going to enter into heaven? Jesus says, if I knew you, you can come in. If I did not know you, you can't come in. That's what, oh, excuse me. Let's read again. Then I will tell them plainly, I never knew you. Away from me, evil doers. As if, as if that's not clear enough. He goes on to clarify that even further, which is the verse I said you missed out no, earlier. No, the, I'm going to the get bit, that. The bit you're trying to Hashem, I'm going to get okay, Let me finish and then you can rebut. <laughs> so, when you read this passage so far, things are beginning to become extremely clear. Jesus seems to have plenty of authority, even to an extent you can enter into heaven only if Jesus knew you. If Jesus did not know you, do you know Jesus? If you say no, of course, if you did not know him, he is going to very readily say, I don't know you either. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Jesus does not have an authority because he did not say, only if you follow my will, did he? It's the will of the Father. So he, so you. Not only the will of the Father, only the will of the Father. So he's not God, is he? He did not, he did not. That's precisely the part you missed out. That's the point you missed that, out. That's the point you missed out because I'm going to read that. To see, I not read that. 
No, Did no, I not read that? No, not this verse. I'm going to read, read the other verse. You said, read from it. what I read, you missed out a verse. From what I read, what did I miss out? No, no, I didn't say that. Of course you said that. No, I said It's on camera. I can clarify. It didn't tell I you said enough authority. I said that. I said that. You know, yeah. the day of Excuse judgment. Me. I said. He didn't have enough authority, but he cares. Uh, the big tree. You see, yeah, yeah. Because she didn't produce yeah, yeah, yeah. any, any. Excuse me, sir. Check, if you wait, please. Thank you. Now, what I said was this. You said Jesus wanted only his father's will to be done. And I am saying, no, he clarifies that further down in a verse which you missed earlier. So I'm talking about so verse... from what I read. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said when you, when I said earlier, no, you missed no, no, out. No. You said from what I read, I missed out something. Maybe, maybe that's mishearing. Maybe, maybe my English is bad. Forget about me. Okay, carry on. Let's read. Now, so far, what do we see? We see Jesus is the one who you better be in good books with for you to get into heaven. He is the one who is going to sit. He is the one who is going to sit in the gates of heaven. And going to decide who is going to let in and who is going to stop and send away. So whom is he going to reject from the Come people on, who do work in his name? No, I just want a clarification. From the people he's going to reject. Well done. Who is he going to reject? From the people he's going to reject yeah. are the people who do things in the name of Jesus. Ah, good. Am I right? No. No. That's no. What the verse says. Let's read. No, no, no. Whoa, whoa. That's what the verse says if you did not know English. Oh my God. Excuse me. If you did not. Excuse me, if you did not know English or if you did not learn, read this carefully, that's what the verse would say. The verse is extremely clear. What does the verse say? Not everyone who calls me Lord, Lord. In other words, what does that mean? Some who call me Lord, Lord. Excuse me. Let me finish. Excuse me. I got a good point to Jesus' point is extremely clear. There are many who call me Lord, Lord. There are many who do miracles in my name. Many who do uh, perform, uh, who drive out demons in my name, many uh, who prophesy in my name, not all of them, a portion of them are going to come in. In other words, calling, in other words, calling Jesus Lord is not the problem. The problem is, after calling Jesus Lord, if you go against his own beloved Father, that is a problem because Jesus already clarified. Through, through the verses you and I read, that Jesus was in his father, and the father was in Jesus, and therefore, go against one of them, you are in big trouble. And then Jesus goes on to clarify. What does Jesus say? Therefore, the verse you missed, therefore, everyone who hears those, these words of mine, and puts them into practice, is like a wise... Oh. He doesn't say that, did he? Excuse me, that's your Quranic interpolation. That's not what the Bible says. The Bible is extremely clear. So far, did Jesus say anything uh, in regard, uh, which even gives an idea that he is a messenger? He never said that. Hear me say, I know mine. Sorry, can I have the phone? Which messenger is going to sit in the in the in the? Why are you making it lengthy, Owen? That's more man. Why are you comparing your God to my prophet all the time? I don't know why. Our prophet is not God. Get yeah. that correct in your head. Because if you keep comparing your God exactly. to my prophet, somehow in your mind you're thinking he's at the same level as the prophet. No, no, that's not what I'm thinking. Stop comparing Muhammad. There is an alternative explanation. Stop comparing Muhammad. There is an alternative explanation, which is who I consider to be God. You unfortunately equate with Muhammad. And therefore, I I'm don't trying to anyone to I'm Muhammad. trying to All I'm saying is that do you not Jesus call? is a messenger of God. Just Muhammad like how you call. is a messenger of God. Yeah, that's they equation. both are messengers of God. Jesus says, equation Jesus, yeah, equation. if he was God, he wouldn't say, I by myself can do nothing in John 5.30. Wow. Shall we go there? If you want it, yeah, that's going to be a great. Uh, yeah, we, we, we'll, we'll finish we this can. and then go there also. Yeah, go on, because that's a, no, no, no. an often misinterpreted statement again by no, Muslims. Now let's let's finish this off. If you hear my words and put them in practice. Yeah. In other words, Jesus' problem wasn't obey him alone. Don't 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 call me God. That wasn't his problem. His problem was what you hear from me, better obey. Better put them in practice. In other words, if if you want a better uh, a, a simpler simpler, 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 simpler if you want a simpler way of you have no issue with that. If you have another, if you want an alternative way of listening to that, Jesus is saying, I have a will, do my will. Better listen to me.
No, no, wait, wait, wait. With regards to that, did Jesus not say, guys, guys, wait. Did Jesus not say, I've not come to do my will, but to do the will of the Father? Yes. Uh, we, we'll go there also. <laughs> but did he say that? Ashay, yes, you're jumping from one tree to another. Let's go there. Actually, so, if, you're, if you're calling your Bible a tree, then you're the monkey. Well, I, am. <laughs> I am the monkey, I am the donkey, I am the monkey. Sorry. I meant that in a metaphorical way. Well, it's a very bad metaphor then, to mistreat your Bible. If you call me monkey, I haven't got a problem. He's not calling you a monkey, he's calling your Bible a tree. You can call me pigs if you want, you can call me anything you want. Actually, Jesus is called the but Gentiles like you pigs. Absolutely, so, no problem. That is your Bible if my again. Lord calls me something, I'm quite happy. Good. Yeah, because it is remarkable for my Lord to even call me by any term. So you're so let's meet. A dog let's meet. Your problem, I shame, was with John Jesse, chapter 5. are you okay to be called a pig? <laughs> no answer. No answer. I shame, you raised a problem with John chapter 5 and you I said, you are, you know. You said, yeah. you have a problem because you said, Jesus said, uh, the, father has been, uh, the father has been working until now and I have been working. Actually, you know from the verses that you read, the one that I did not read, I have no problem at all. Jesus no, that was doing precisely Jesus' will. No, no. Jesus was doing the will of the Father. No, we already Jesus clarified is, that. No, no, no. Hashem. Uh, what you're trying to say is that those bad Christians who do things in the name of Jesus are wrong. Isn't that what you're saying? There yeah, are absolutely. bad Christians who do. Yeah, yeah. But you see, Not there was. Look. Wait, wait a minute. In this verse, it says, "Many who will call me Lord, Lord." Actually, you're absolutely right. It's not everyone, because there are many people who are Unitarians who might call Jesus Lord, but they don't call him Almighty God. So those people who do things in the name of ah, Jesus, yeah, there we go. there's nothing wrong That's in that. Very, because very those special. people do not believe Jesus is God Almighty. But people like you, who actually believe that Jesus is Almighty God, yes, despite the fact he said, I by myself can do nothing, despite the fact that he claims that he has a God, yes, he said, get away from me, you evil doers. I did not know you. That's a very, very serious, serious... Uh, Let's say interpolation you're doing to scripture. Why don't you rebut it? I, I, we, we will, we will read precisely. Please do. Jesus never said, out of all people who call me Lord, Unitarians are going to come in. Jesus didn't say but that. But Jesus you didn't are. say that true Christians are going to have it. Precisely. And therefore, 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 excuse me, and therefore, let us conclude only things which we can conclude from that portion, not other things which we cannot. In fact, we both agree on that. Those who do the will of the Father, as Jesus said. You have, guys, you have to be an issue here. <laughs> <laughs> to summarize all these things, the point is extremely clear. When we evaluate what Jesus was claiming to the Jews, very clearly, the point is Jesus claims all sorts of privileges that he alone has, which essentially equates him with God. Jesus is the one who ultimately has the authority to let you into heaven. Jesus elsewhere says, the Father has committed all judgment to the Son so that all may honor the Son just as they honor the Father. In other words, there's another privilege which the Son has, which is that judgment himself. Jesus is going to be the judge. And that is to make the point quite clear that, the, that everyone should honor the Son just like how they honor the Father. They are equal through all sorts of references point is clear from Jesus' own mouth. Jesus is God. Yeah, but